So, understanding fat. First, we're going to cover some fat fictions. Yes, you can eat two bowls of cereal per day and lose weight, but you can eat two bowls of any cereal and lose weight if all you're eating is cereal. You can eat two Mars bars per day and you will lose weight. You can put an electrical belt around your stomach and you may tone muscle, but you will not remove body fat, which is why you'll never see these belts advertised on overweight people. A million sit-ups a day will tone the muscles on your stomach, but it will not get rid of the body fat. To do that, you need to exercise more in general and you need to change your diet. You can't blame your hormones or your metabolism. If you eat little enough, you know that you will lose weight. We say overweight, but we never say over fat. When we stand on a weighing scale, what are we measuring? We're measuring more than fat. We're measuring water, we're measuring bone, we're measuring muscle, and yes, we're measuring fat. So weighing scales are not precise. Interestingly, fat is less dense than muscle. And so a lot of body fat takes up the same amount of space as a little bit of muscle. And so by toning up, you can be the same weight and yet more slender and more toned. Food is fuel, fat is the excess. If we overconsume food, energy, calories, then your body will store those calories as body fat. It's separate and completely different to muscle or skin and your body fat will be stored subcutaneously or around your organs viscerally. Visceral fat is dangerous. To get rid of this fat, you need to switch your energy suppliers from the food and drink that you consume to the body fat that you've stored in your body over time. You want to raid your body fat bank by creating a calorie deficit so you can spend more calories by either exercising or doing something to increase your metabolism, or you save less by consuming less calories by taking in less food and drink. So you want to create a daily calorie deficit where your body is not getting enough calories or energy from food and drink and therefore you're forcing the body to rate its own energy storage, its stored body fat. So what's your fat loss goal? How do you work it out? Well, you can look in a mirror, you take a measuring tape, you can stand on scales, but remember that's not telling you what your body fat is, it's telling you all kinds of information. You're better off getting a device that measures your body fat and comparing yourself against the norms. For a man, a healthy body fat percentage is between 15 and 25% and for a woman between 30 and 35 percent. If you go to see a doctor, they're going to measure your BMI or your body mass index. It's essentially a number. The higher the number, the more overweight or obese you are. That number is worked out using a calculation, dividing your weight by your height squared, essentially telling you what you should weigh for your height. Normal is 25. A BMI of less than 20 and you're underweight, a BMI of over 25 and you're overweight, over 30 and you're obese. You can work out your BMI using a calculation on a pen and paper, or you can Google for an online BMI calculator, and there are many out there. You'd be surprised at how small somebody is when they're either overweight or obese. So what's your weight loss goal? Well, let's take the example of a five foot six female. She currently weighs 169 pounds, and that gives her a BMI of 27.3. If she wanted a BMI of 25, which is normal, she would weigh 155 pounds for her height. So she wants to lose 14 pounds or a stone, and that's 4% body fat. She can achieve that sustainably by losing one to two pounds per week, and therefore it would take her only eight weeks to achieve her goal. If we took a five foot 10 male, currently weighing 194 pounds, with a BMI of nearly 28 and 35% body fat, if he wanted to achieve a BMI of 25, he would need to lose 20 pounds, and he could achieve that sustainably at the same rate, one to two pounds per week in about 16 weeks. Interestingly, a five to 10% weight loss when you're overweight can mean as much as a 25% health risk reduction. So when setting goals, your goals should be smart. You may have heard of this already. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. Let's take the example of that five foot six female. What's her specific goal? She could say, I'm gonna lose weight, but that's not specific. Instead, I'm gonna lose 14 pounds in eight weeks by exercising three times per week for 30 minutes and eat better. Measurable, I'm not gonna be thinner, I'm gonna have a BMI of 25 and a 32% body fat percentage in eight weeks. It should be attainable, and one to two pounds per week is attainable. And your goal should be relevant and rewarding, and it should be time bound so you're committed to it. So how do you create this calorie deficit? Well, you can take in less calories from food and drink. You can burn up more calories with increased activity or exercise. And thirdly, and this is key, you can increase your daily basal metabolic rate or your metabolism with specific exercise. So taking in less calories, well, we can eat little or nothing, but then we would be starving our body of not just food, but vital vitamins and minerals. We'd end up craving probably junk, overeating, and putting on weight. 
Diets don't work, forget them. Instead, learn to choose foods that keep you full for longer and stop you overeating without you even have to think about it. Secondly, you can burn more calories. Increasing your activity or exercise by just 30 minutes per day can increase the amount of calories that your body burns by 1 to 200 calories per day. Thirdly, and this is key, we can increase our BMR, or a basal metabolic rate or metabolism. So what is your BMR? A man burns 2,000 calories per day, and a woman 1,500 calories per day. That's without going to the gym, that's general activities like working, walking, whatever, even sleeping. So what can you change about your body that would increase the amount of calories that your body would burn per day? Think of this logically. If you could increase the amount of water stored in your body, but what's the sense in that? You can't increase the size of your bones. You could increase the amount of fat in your body, and yes, if you put on more fat weight, then your body would be carrying around more weight, and therefore it would burn more calories, and you would increase your BMR technically, but we're trying to lose fat here. It's about muscle. You saw earlier, muscle is more dense than body fat, so it takes up a lot less space in your body. It's responsible for giving you your tone and physique. But interestingly, every pound of body fat causes your body to burn 75 calories. So with a little bit of toning, we're not talking about becoming Arnold Schwarzenegger here, we're just talking about a little bit of toning, firming up our physique. Even increasing the amount of lean muscle tissue in our bodies by just five pounds could increase the amount of calories our body burns every day by 375 calories. That will get us to our goal a lot faster than exercising alone or reducing our calorie intake from food and drink. And that will allow us to keep weight off sustainably. So Tony muscle increases our metabolism. And we've got a lot of smart exercises that we're going to show you that will allow you to increase your metabolism. So how are we going to achieve our weekly calorie deficit and burn one to two pounds of fat per week? First, you're going to exercise three times per week for 30 minutes a session. That will increase the amount of calories our body burns by 600 calories per week. We're going to learn how to eat smarter and consume 100 less calories than we need per day without even having to worry about it by choosing foods that keep us full for longer. 100 calories per day is 700 calories extra per week. So now we've created a 1300 calorie deficit. But if there's 3500 calories in a pound of fat, where are we going to lose those other calories from? Well, we're going to increase our muscle tone by just 5 pounds. And in doing so, we're going to cause our body to burn 2,625 additional calories every week. And now we're well on our way. That's the key to Simply Slim and successful and sustained weight loss. Without even having to worry about it, with little time spent in the gym, with little sacrifice when it comes to food and drink, we're now burning almost 4,000 additional calories per week and well on our way to losing and keeping off unwanted excess body fat. So what have we learned? There's a lot of misinformation out there around body fat. Fat is simply stored energy from eating and drinking more calories than we need each day. There are 3,500 calories in a pound of body fat. Body fat is separate from and less dense than muscle. Body fat percentage and BMI are better measured than weight alone. Body fat can be burned off sustainably by creating a calorie deficit through eating smarter food that keeps us full for longer, increasing our daily activity, and the next point is key, exercising to increase our BMR or our metabolism by toning muscle. So next we're going to learn all about smart food and how we can choose healthy, nutritional and tasty foods that will keep us full for longer and see us losing weight without even having to think about it.